Hey, welcome to Weekly Word. I'm Pastor Ray Steele. Thank you so much for watching today. And uh, if you've been with us for a couple of weeks, we really appreciate that. Hope that you'll share this with somebody else that may benefit their life. And remember to stay tuned uh, because we've got a, a great worship song that will follow that I hope will encourage your heart and stay with you each week. I was reading the other day in John chapter six in the Gospel of John, and I read what I think to be one of the saddest verses of all in the Bible. Jesus is talking and he's talking about some very difficult things and some difficult things really for some people to understand. And then it says in verse 66, it says, and having heard these things, many followed him no more. In other words, there were people that were listening to the words of the Lord Jesus. And because they were challenging, because they were difficult, they decided, nah, we're not gonna do it. And they quit and they walked off. Let me ask you a question. What does it take for you to quit? What does it take for you to quit on your spiritual growth? What does it take for you to quit on the Lord Jesus and on his teaching you and developing your life? What does it take for you to quit? Jesus seeing these people just walk away, Jesus just kind of seeing them, you know, raising their hand, I'm, I'm done with this, and, and they leave. And then he looks at his disciples and he says, a powerful question. Maybe he's asking this to you. Do you want to go too? Do, do you want to quit? And Peter, in a moment of incredible clarity, says, well, where are we going to go? You have, Jesus, the very words of eternal life. And then Peter says, we, we be, we've become convinced that you are the Holy One that sent from on high. Peter was saying, you've got the words of life and you are the one that we've been waiting on. You're the answer that we've been looking for. You see, often in our lives, we wanna quit when we find ourselves involved in other things that distract us, that pull our attention away, or when things get tough in our lives when things are challenging in our lives, when we run into difficult circumstances, and then all of a sudden, when we think God maybe didn't respond as quick or respond in the way we wanted him to respond, we decide that we're gonna quit. Or sometimes it's when all of a sudden he begins to challenge us in his word, challenge us to make changes in our life, to let go of some things that we don't wanna let go of challenges us to end some habits and patterns of our lives that we don't want to end because we enjoy them too much. And when that gets tough, sometimes we walk away. Sometimes our eyes get turned. The Bible tells us in Timothy that there was a man in the early church by the name of Demas. And Paul says, Demas has forsaken me. In other words, Demas quit. And the reason why, Paul says, is because he loved this world more than he loved God. There are all kinds of things that can cause us to quit. Even pandemics can cause us to quit, to lose hope, to lose focus, all of a sudden to become so distracted that our spiritual life and our worship to God and our gathering in community even as a people of God becomes an afterthought and we give up on it, and we quit. But where else can you go? Who else but Jesus has the words of eternal life? Are you convinced that Jesus is the one who is sent from God, that he is the Holy One that is the answer for your life? If you are convinced of that, and I pray that you are, then my friend, don't ever quit on him because he wants to show you and demonstrate to you his power and his strength and the depth of his love. Where else can we go than to Jesus? May God bless you. Be encouraged in the Lord today and don't quit. We'll see you next week.
Slave. 